Even as the votes were being counted, the Belfast weekend becomes a pageant of marches and parades. A short physical distance and also worlds apart, a Catholic community march. And this, the first of the summer's Protestant parades. Not much attention is paid to the election results. Yeah, I think it's a big reflection, the East Council elections, on what's happening because Stormont's closed down at the minute. So maybe this will be a kick in the teeth that maybe the DUP need to come in and get back to work. Each election that happens, you know, people think, I have to vote, I have to make a change. And then things happen and you do sort of think, well, what was the point in that? Local council elections these may be, but that sense of apathy extends to almost half the electorate who chose not to vote. It reflects frustration at the Democratic Unionist Party's ongoing boycott of power sharing in the Stormont Assembly. The DUP fears post-Brexit trading arrangements will erode Northern Ireland's ties with the British mainland, and the latest election is unlikely to change that. I think that a lot of people will look at it and say the DUP position is holding, as it's holding strong and, and, and the public are behind them and what they're doing. So, you know, we're, we're, we're comfortable with the position that we have. The party's position means frustration, both for the Republican Sinn Féin, now the biggest party in Northern Ireland, and for those forging a third way, the Alliance Party, trying to capture the non-aligned centre ground. We've got to talk about reform, we've got to talk about how we fix it. It's not fair that one team can take the ball away and no one else is allowed to play. That has to change so that we can all get in and deliver and stop that apathy. It was just weeks ago that the world watched as Northern Ireland marked the 25th anniversary of the Good Friday Peace Agreement. But a quarter of a century, and a few weeks on, and not only are the signs of sectarian divide still plain to see, but the politics put in place by that agreement just don't seem to be working. It may yet be months before devolved government is allowed to resume. In the meantime, engagement and faith in politics is being put to the test. There's a major disconnect between parties of all sections in being able to reach a large core of the population in Northern Ireland. And that is worrying, because the more that goes on, the more the victors are actually going to be less representative of the people in Northern Ireland. A non-functioning executive, an unrepresentative political elite, another election over in Northern Ireland without resulting in change. Jonah Hull, Al Jazeera, Belfast.